Hi there, this is Andrea Ramirez. This is my Global Marketing and Strategic Networking course. Week three, video commentary discussion on global connectiveness. So this week we, we read three different books, all covering um, different information. The first I wanna to touch on is In Praise of Slowness by Carl. Uh, by Carl and I believe Carl's intent behind um, his book is to remind us how we have allowed a clock to dictate our lives by way of you know keeping track of time schedules deadlines um, and his goal is to bring us back to uh, embracing and spending more time and, and really living in the moment. Because we're rushing through life, um, we have been disconnected from others. Um, and so I think his, his goal was to remind us um, how slowing down a bit can can benefit us in Robert Levine's geography of time he covers cultures he covers pace in which we move he shared a a graph um, showing the pace of life in 31 countries and resulted in Japan and Western European countries being the fastest and the slowest being non-industrialized countries like Africa, Asia, Brazil, um, Mexico. And I believe the goal behind his behind this book is basically to let us know how we move through life. Um, one of the things that stuck out, and I found um, that I can <clears throat> that I can agree with is um, me the Mexican culture. Um, he gives an example of people who abide by the clock invite insult. So basically, if uh, if a party is scheduled for six and you arrive at six, you're basically too early. Um, if you arrive 30 minutes to an hour late, you're on time. Um, I found this quite funny and I wanted to share that with you. Um, the last one that I want to go over um, and I found most interesting is The Hidden Dimensions by Hall. Now, a couple things here. Um, I believe his intent was to teach us the differences in various cultures. He talks about the Germans. He talks about the English. He talks about uh, the Japanese. He talks about um, the Arabs and how communication, culture, space, all are perceived by these cultures. Um, there's so many different things that, you know, he covered on that I'd like to share with you. I know we're pressed for time. Um, but one of the things that really, really stood out to me was the private sphere. So for Germans specifically, they use a door as a way of privacy, but also um, it reads here that it's important for them um, because it's, their ego in a sense. So to close the door preserves the integrity of the room and it provides a protective boundary between people. So for them without doors, they, they don't function well without having doors. Um, they want that space between um, others them and others and then it, it goes on to talk about 
the French. So the French are used to being in crowded places. They like the crowdedness, as do the Japanese. Um, for the French, if they feel um, sometimes that if they're not connected, um, if there isn't that that closeness, they feel deprivated. Um, Japan, on the other hand, you have to be in their inner circle to feel connectiveness. That means, you know, rubbing shoulders, whereas Arabs, you know, they want to breathe on you. That's, that's, that's um, having an, um, a, a strong relationship with you. Um, so many different things here that I found interesting. One of the, the, the key terms, that, as I pointed out, was the, the private sphere. Germans have it, um, English have it, they also tend to, how they communicate um, for, for this, uh, one of the chapters that really resonated within me um, over all three books was the, um, by Crawl in Praise of Slowness, where it reads that slowing down a bit the spirit by its very nature is slow so no matter how hard you try you cannot accelerate enlightenment so every religion religion um, there is a need to slow down in order to connect with the self with others and with a higher force and then it gives you a verse psalms 46 where it says be still then and know that i am god that really resonated with, within me. That's chapter two of In Praise of Slowness. Um, I wanted to share that with you. I feel that all three books really connect with the course because it's not only teaching us about time, it's telling us about slowing down, but also about different cultures and then how we connect and speak to others, how we communicate and interact. Um, building relationships, uh, if we're building international relationships really taking into account what this can offer for me um, that is something that i wanted to share with you and what i believe um, the concept is behind these three one of the questions that i have for for myself is my interaction with someone from a different culture how that would be um, taking into account what I've read, what I've learned, and what I will continue to learn is something that I want to look forward to. Um, luckily, I work in a place with tons of diversity, and I feel like this is going to be a good opportunity for me to really take this in and apply it. So I am looking forward to it. I thank you for your time and look forward to the feedback. Thanks.